windows, shower glass, doors, big sliding doors. What is that about? Where can you buy that? Doing a home remodel? Where do you start? Where do you begin? Stay tuned. I have answers to those questions with you in a moment. Hi everyone, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles realtor. Today I'm here at A&R Custom Windows and Doors and Brian, who is owner operator, owner manager? Project manager, Project senior, manager. Okay. part of the family business. Right, so this is a family business here in Reseda off of Sherman Way. And it's there's kind of a funny story how we all stumbled together, but um, we'll see if I'm selling his brother a home. Anyways, <laughs> I, as you guys know, am focused on luxury properties and windows are one of these things that as homeowners, at some point you might need to replace your windows. And there's so much that has changed over the years, evolved in terms of style, quality, um, heating, keeping a home secure. You know, we want windows to protect us from the elements, protect us from creepy crawlers and all those kinds of things. Well, here in the showroom, you sell a number of window brands. Why don't you share a little bit about what you guys do? Because a big part of what you do is custom orders, correct? Correct. Share a little bit about what you guys do and the brands you carry. Thank you. So here we specialize in all sorts of materials, depending on where your price point is. Mm -hmm. It's vinyl, there's aluminum, there's steel, mm -hmm. there's wood, and fiberglass. Those are like the five primary materials. Mm -hmm. So we look at where your price point is. So most people tend to go for vinyl, which is 70% of the market. Mm -hmm. So we carry brands that most people recognize, like Anderson, mm -hmm. uh, Milgard, mm -hmm. as examples. Mm -hmm. um, on the higher ends, we carry bigger brands like Western Window Systems for higher end homes, mm -hmm. etc. So we look at where we need to be for your cost and your project. And it's, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that. So when I was selling a lot of homes in Massachusetts, and I still sell homes there too, um, even though I'm here in California, Anderson Windows was everything, every contractor that was doing the construction used. And it was something that we would share when we were showing the home or in the description, Anderson Windows. And then here on the West Coast, I feel like Milgard is more like that standard, like you said, the, the larger part of the market. Um, but when we start talking about luxury properties, you'll notice in a description or you go to see a home and agent sharing oh and we have fleetwood doors and they slide right into the wall and fleetwood is a pretty large brand and you have a great example and guys stay at the very end i'm walking through the showroom and let's talk a little bit about that because i think that in general when most people are saying okay i have to redo windows we all know it's an expensive high ticket item that correct. overall because of the sheer number of windows you have in a home correct right but when we're talking about something like Fleetwood and someone saying, well, I have this older home and I want to uh, take out that wall in the living room and just make it a glass that goes into the wall and, and I can see my pool in my backyard. And the first thing that comes to mind when someone's looking at, you know, maybe new construction or, or higher end homes is I want those Fleetwood doors, right? Correct. Share a little bit what something like that costs. Okay. So, I mean, there's so many pros and cons to high end materials. And for example, Fleetwood, it's a thermal aluminum line. Mm -hmm. So it's a material, one that's a metal, that's natural, that's recyclable. So it's environmentally friendly. That's Architects amazing. love aluminum because yeah. it allows you to do big spans. Like you can do extrusions to 12, 16, 20 feet, bigger door systems too. So aluminum allows you to have narrow sight lines, more glass. Mm -hmm. So for architects, it's, it's very appealing. And the materials are renewable. So that's a big key. For most people so when they ask for Fleetwood that's a brand that's well known in that industry and from there it's obviously alternatives so we have other brands too that are competing but if you want you know this type top of the line we can do that um, and then we look at what where the price point is what the contractor wants to do so if, let's say it says hey I like these Fleetwood doors but uh, can I get a better total project price at that point that's when we're talking to the client and seeing if they want something that's either closer, like Milgard, that's built here in Southern California, or if they prefer a brand, let's say, that's built like Anderson on the East Coast, where uh, it may be a little bit higher price point, like 10%. 
And whatever it is, we'll, we'll work with you. And something like that, that those windows have to get from the East Coast to here and, Correct. and make Logistics. sure that nothing's broken and, and, you know, let's face it, those things can happen when they're being transported. Yes. I don't know if, if you guys have ever been on the freeway and seen one of those trucks with, with all the glass and all the support and the things that are keeping them secure and compressed, right. but it's a whole big thing. So Most definitely. I think local is probably a little better, but one of the things that I've seen over the last couple of years in um, higher end homes, the luxury market, is with the um, aluminum or metal is, is kind of having more of a design when they're doing an accent interior door for say an office or a library room. And so it'll look a little bit um, kind of like this door behind us with the you know, window panes instead Small of just a lines. yeah, instead of just a wide open glass, but it helps to change the feel of that room. Like this is office, this is work, even though it's in the home. And I think that's you know been more important, especially after the pandemic, with the people that have stayed home working or during that time to have a you might be working from home, but have it not feel so much like home, but still blend with the home. Have you guys noticed more of that when people are doing redesigns? We've noticed with a lot of projects with mm -hmm. homeowners, mm -hmm. they're at home more. Mm -hmm. So they are looking to, I need to remodel my backyard. Mm -hmm. I need to replace my big sliding door in the back. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're actually much busier now than before because mm -hmm. it seems like everybody's home and everybody's asking for their quotes. Yeah. So um, uh, for us, we're very fortunate, especially with COVID, there's been a lot of material delays. However, we've been able to have uh, like more projects that we're able to talk, uh, FaceTime, Zoom. So that's a big, big difference where we can essentially work on your project with pictures, you know, with you being home, just getting budget numbers for linear feet. And then at that point, if the project is ready to get approved, we'll go in and we'll verify on site. So it's a little bit different. Like for us, we sell, mm -hmm. but we also install. So we have to, you know, work with the homeowner, especially when they're at home. So we know it's like, oh, I'm home all day. So we're able to schedule very easily. If it's morning, if they're occupied with uh, morning meetings, mm -hmm. you know, we schedule in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But it works out, you know, especially having technology now. Let me ask you this question. Um, so uh, it's funny. We see so much on social media, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think we were even talking about this earlier, like some brands that do a lot of advertising are popping up and or people are doing videos. And one of the, the things that I, I've noticed is like, oh, your home might qualify for a free bathroom remodel, blah, blah, blah. And so they'll show a dated contractor grade bathroom with, you know, the tower, shove and closure all being one piece and then tearing that apart and installing this beautiful, beautiful bathroom with like great doors. What are some of the trends you're seeing that people that are doing bathroom remodels are looking for with their shower doors? Most people are looking for like these matte black, modern, black finish, steel mm -hmm. look enclosures inside. Yeah. It definitely pops when you're doing like, you know, light tiles, subway tiles, uh, Carrera marble, black finish, you know, extrusions. So mm -hmm. that's actually our niche. You know, we've been a glass company as well for 20 years. So we're able to custom design, assemble, have design to the glass, to the grids, you know, to the T, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. If there's like a house picture or something you see on Instagram, you show it to us and we're pretty much able to replicate it and mimic it mm -hmm. or actually get the exact material for you. So it, for us, I mean, we enjoy it because it's somebody's idea mm -hmm. and they're showing it to us and we're executing it with our custom work. Okay. I have a different question for you because I have mm -hmm. a client who um, loves the modern homes and loves like the glass doors and some of these windows, but she's always like, I want a privacy factor to that like I love the look of it but I don't want to walk in my house you know in my my jammies like that and have the neighbor see me so do you also do treatments to windows and doors that protect from being able to be seen on the ins you know from outside to inside correct um, so a lot of glass tents performance glasses have a reflective feature so if you like let's say reflection so you don't want people to see inside, but you want to be able to see to the outside, right. you, we can order a custom glass that essentially has one side tinted, the other side reflective, so they can't see. Essentially, it's called like one-way mirror. Yeah. Uh, we're able to do that for doors, for windows, and now there's a new trend where you're seeing like these switches that make the all glass, you know, frosted. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a new technology. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's in the market. Mm -hmm. It's a switch. It runs an electric, uh, electrical current into the, uh, it's a film, 
that turns opaque and gives you privacy. That's really cool. And, and I actually have seen something about that, but my thought was, okay, what if you don't like the frosted look? What if you wanted something more solid? How far is that technology coming? Is that the only options is the frosted look? No, no, so there's many films. Like, let's say if you like a specific tint, you have a custom uh, spa enclosure, and for whatever reason you want it to look blue, mm -hmm. that's where we can do a blue film mm -hmm. into the glass. Okay. So essentially what we do is we get samples mm -hmm. of the tone, the color, mm -hmm. and then we get that approval, and at that point then we make the glass ordered with the specific tint, you know, from the specific manufacturer. So yes, that's... we can customize as as needed. It's so amazing where technology is bringing us on so many different levels. Who would have thought when I was a kid that you could have your glass turn a switch and it, and it darkens or it turns a different color. That is very, very cool. Are you seeing any um, special requests in that arena? Are you seeing people like start to ask for that more and more? Or For the most part, what's in demand right now are these black modern finishes, yeah, but the privacy too. glasses, um, they're, they're very cool. I mean, most people, it, it, it has to be their passion or their... Um, they're a special project. Again, there's a lot of projects that we, we discuss that we're not allowed to mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a specific owner for mm -hmm. privacy, mm -hmm. NDA. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, essentially whatever you can come up with, especially designers, if they have an idea, they're gonna render it mm -hmm. and they're gonna send it to you and now you're just trying to figure it out. So for us, we love that type of problem. You know, okay, here's the rendering, mm -hmm. make it happen. So for us, we're, you know, we're, we're glass creators, aluminum, uh, dealer but we're also a supplier and we have to install it the way they want it so mm -hmm. if it doesn't work obviously we'll tell you hey this won't work but we have an alternative mm -hmm. so at that point you give the customer options it, and it's interesting I think the black trend right now it, it just makes homes pop it's such a great accent but it's funny because every now and then there's someone that hates it they're just like oh right. I, if I see another home with this but you know it's it's just life it's it's a trend it definitely upgrades things right now and maybe in another 15 years it'll go the trend will go back to white or the trend will go to like a silver aluminum color but right now black is definitely the trend you guys are here in Reseda mm -hmm. do you service all of Los Angeles like what's your your reach for your customer base we we reached entire Los Angeles so uh, you know, we started in Los Angeles, California, but we take on projects with owners and with contractors, uh, homeowners that we've worked with before. Mm -hmm. If I have a client who says, hey, I have a house in Orange County mm -hmm. that we're going to build uh, next year, mm -hmm. you know, we'll take on that project okay. because it's, you know, it's a good sized project. Okay. So we'll do Orange County, Ventura County, okay. but specifically Los Angeles, we try mm -hmm. to stick to. So okay. being here in the Valley, we're able to, uh, you know, service Beverly Hills, Santa mm -hmm. Monica, Mm -hmm. We go all the way to Glendora, Inland Empire, so... Uh, big, big... Yeah, big most street. Southern California were able to service. Amazing. So you guys, I have all the contact information below. As Brian has shared, he's project manager, manager, part of the family that owns this particular um, company, and they can do everything you need. So if you are in need for windows, needing to do bathroom remodel, needing glass enclosure, Maybe um, you've been working from home the last couple of years, you wanna upgrade your office and kind of open it up to be more part of the home and install more industrial type of windows or, or doors that look like windows. There's so many options for you and this would be a great place to start. Give him a call, schedule an appointment, come in and meet with him and see all the amazing things. And you guys, again, stay to the very end because I'm gonna walk through and show you a couple things, including a Fleetwood display here over in the showroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you know I can't let you go without saying click that subscribe button and bell for updates. See you guys soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.